As a contractor and a home service business owner trying to generate leads with Google search engine and Google's map system, part of the whole process is figuring out where you rank and where you stand to begin with. In this video, I want to share with you guys some of the free tools I advise these home service business owners and contractors to use to start checking out and see where they actually stand in the rankings in regards to the local market. So let's get to work and I'll show you guys exactly how to do it. What up there guys is here once again with get busy LLC, helping contractors and home service business owners understand this whole internet thing, website design, SEO, and getting their business found on Google. Now, if you're a contractor or a home service business owner, who's already built up their website, they got their Google business profile set up. Part of the whole process is trying to get yourself to the top, obviously, because when people look for that local service you provide in your local market, the top searches usually get the most leads and the most clicks. Part of the whole process is trying to figure out where you stand to begin with. So let's say you just got your website built, or let's say that you just got your Google business profile set up. Part of the whole thing is, where do you rank? Where exactly do you show up on the search results? So I'm going to show you guys a few things that you guys can do to start checking where your local rankings are. They cost you nothing. And it's kind of interesting to see how the whole thing looks. And it gives you a perspective on what things you need to do to get your business to the top. So let's get to work. Let me show you some of these free tools. So for this example, I'm going to showcase a website I just helped the gentleman built out and fix up for dumpster rentals in Tacoma, Washington. We got it done maybe 30 days ago, something like that. So let's take a look and see where he's ranking. He wasn't ranking at all in the map listings or in the organic parts of things. And when you build out a new website, usually it bounces around. What I've noticed with Google does is like it shuffles it around and notices something new. It takes a look at it. And sometimes it just like, sometimes they'll put it on the first page, sometimes they'll put it in the back, second page, third page. They'll just shuffle it around. It's trying to see where the best place to put this new listing or this new website. So let's take a look and see where exactly he's renting with this first free method, which is pretty simple. It's called incognito mode. So let's take a look at that. Now, the reason you want to use incognito mode is just because it just, it's like a blank Google page, right? Nothing saved, nothing nothing at all. What happens is a lot of people like local business owners they get, and contractors, they get confused. They'll type in their business and their location, things like that. What Google ends up doing is saves your search results because they, it remembers that you searched something and it's trying to be helpful and give you back what you, you, you searched previously. You don't want to do that because it's going to trick you and think that you're doing better than you are. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, the main keyword for that guy was dumpster rental Tacoma. And let's see where he's right. This, like I said, this is the most like bare bones way to find out where you're ranking. So there's dumpster rental Tacoma. And you can see it already pushed his listing to the top into this three pack. Now, this could change tomorrow. The next day, it'll just shuffle it around depending on reviews and all that stuff. But his listing's already right here. So it's a really simple way to find out where he's ranking. Now, his website, let's see, it's not ranking on this first page. It's funny because just like two days ago, it was like number six or so on the search results. But let's go to page two and see, there it is. This website's ranking right there. So that's a super simple way to see where this guy's actually ranking. And then you can check it for different keywords too, right? Let's see where he's ranking for these keyword. One, two, three words, four words. There he's ranking right there. Now let's take a look and see if he's ranking uh, anywhere else there. Nope. Let's say the second page. There he is right there. Let's try Washington, Tacoma, Washington. Let's see where he's ranking here. There he is right there, number three in the map listing. So scroll down. Uh, let's see where he's showing. Nope, nothing on there. There he is, the top of page two. So I give it a few more, a few more weeks. Google start picking it up because we optimized the hell out of that website. It's 100% SEO optimized, everything, the pictures, everything. So it's just a matter of time for it goes to that first page. Um, but it's already pushing the map listing, which is more important than anything. And that's one way to figure out. So the next method is figuring out where they stand on a local level. So I'm going to show you guys a, a link that I use all of the time. So here's a website that I use all of the time to check a local rankings of any business listing or a website or anything like that. It's called Local SERP Checker. I'll provide the link here in the description. And I use this all the time. And what it does is it mimics your location. So if I do like a particular search in an area that's seven miles away, you could place this on there 
and it'll give you search results as compared to the search results where you're currently sitting. And this is great since so many damn people use their smartphones to look for services these days. It gives you an idea of where you're ranking in particular areas. Plus, you know your neighborhoods, your areas more than anybody, and this will show you where you rank in those particular neighborhoods. So let's go ahead and use this tool. So that business is in Tacoma, right? So let's just scroll in here and let's take a look at just any address out here. Let's say uh, this guy wants to do more business over here in federal way. All right, we'll just scroll on anything in here. Let's say uh, Fred Meyer's grocery store over here. We'll just go ahead and copy this address, right? We're gonna go into this tool. It says dumpster rental. So let's say somebody's at that grocery store just sitting there and maybe they see a dumpster there and they'll go, you know what? I need to rent a dumpster. And they type in dumpster rental search under smartphone. All they're going to do is type in those two words. Let's see what the rankings show up in that location. So this gives you the results of the first page. So just click on this bad boy and you're going to see what shows up locally in that. Let's say there's a coffee shop right there and somebody typed in dumpster rental. This is what shows up in this exact location. Of course, you're going to see the ads, the ads, the ads, AI crap. This is why I say the Google map listings is the way to go. You're going to see waste management. Let's see what shows up in the maps. See how the results are different. Royal dumpsters, Haas dumpster, Pacific dumpster. Let's say we're AD. There you go. He's not too far behind. One, two, three, four, five spots behind. Let's check out a different location. So let's go back to this map listing. Scroll away. Let's look at somewhere down south here. Let's say uh, Graham, whatever this place is. I don't know this area at all. So I'll just click on anything. Frontier Park. There's that address. I'm going to copy this address. And I'm going to do this search all over again. Search again. Let's go ahead and put this into the address. And again, I'm going to put in dumpster rental. And let's see what we've got here. Again. These are different results from a different area. Again, you see the ads, the ads, the AI crap. Let's see what's showing up in that. See how these are different than they were before. Sound dumpsters, pile up, whatever the hell that is, junk, whatever that is. Let's see where ADEs. See how he's much further back now. There you go. You see what I'm saying? So it shows you the local relevancy. So what it, this is showing me is that Google thinks that these are more useful to the end user by showing them a, a more local situated business. And the way to increase the range of this is again, by getting more reviews, getting more reviews in this local areas is going to tell Google that people have been using this business. So it's going to start pushing it, this listening up higher in the area, plus doing everything else. Like once Google sees the well-optimized website, he's going to have a page that's close to this area that he services. That sort of thing. Let's take a look. We have something close to that area. Graham, like pileup. Yeah, see, we created a page for pileup. So this is going to tell Google that we're near that area with time, of course. It's just, this, all this stuff doesn't happen overnight. Plus, if this guy starts getting a, a few backlinks with some time, if, if they're needed, and Tacoma probably because it's very, very populated as compared to a smaller town, some locally relevant backlinks, maybe sponsor something out here, get some links on some other website to further indicate that he's a local business in this area, it'll push his listing towards the top. But let's take a look too in the organic parts. You can see he's nowhere near any of those pages there. So you can use this tool over and over again. I think it only gives you maybe like five to 10 searches per day or something like that, but that's pretty much all you'll need in order to show the, the search results in that particular area. And you can use a bunch of different keywords. So I'll do one more search real quick just to show you. I put an Office Depot over here in, in another town that's down south a little bit more. Let's do the, let's check that out. So I put in dumpster rental near me, hit, hit this address to see what search results show up for this page. Let's take a look here. Again, those are the ads again, stupid AI again. There you go. You see now he's showing up even higher on the search results. He might be closer to that area and that's what's happening. And let's take a look down here in organics. Um, nope, nowhere in the organics, at least not yet, but that shows you as local search results. So this is a completely free tool. Uh, it's actually, in a way, it's kind of fun to use when you you know mess with it long enough. Here's another one that I like to use, free Google local rankings checker. This one's fairly new, I discovered. It's actually pretty cool. I haven't seen a limit on this yet, but you could do a bunch of this stuff as well. And I've been seeing to see if it actually works just like the other one. 
So let's go ahead and experiment with that real quick. So let's do South Hills, another little town down south of Tacoma. So let's just pick some random spot. Uh, whatever this place. Oh, movie theater. So let's click the address of this movie theater. Copy that. Put this in here for the location. And I'm going to put dumpster rental near me. So I just typed in dumpster rental near me. Generate search links. And it gives you two search results here. So the organic. Let's click on this number one. There you go. The ads again. The stupid AI crap. But you see the businesses that are listed in here. And let's see where that guy's ranking. Not too far off. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, not bad. And it also shows you the map listings. So let's click on number one here. Just the map listings. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. So this tool is another one to use. And like I said, I haven't seen a limit on it. This one's fairly new, so it's pretty cool to be using it. So let's try a different address real quick. So let's try the town of Renton, which is way much further up north. So let's go ahead and scroll in here. I'm just going to pick a random address. Let's say the Hilton here. Oh, you know what? Let's pick something else because that one's too noisy. Let's go on. Just pick something. There you go. Some buffet right here. Let's copy this address. I'm going to put it in this tool here. I'm going to keep the same word. Dumpster rental near me. Generate search results. And you're going to see they're going to be completely different searches. Let's take a look in here. Again, there's the ads. A stupid AI. Uh, there you go. Let's see if this website's anywhere near here. Nope. Uh, let's take a look at the map listings right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, it's nowhere near. Let's check page two. Nothing on page two either. And then finally, page three. Nothing in the area. So it's map listings not reaching at all up in the north area. But again, that can be fixed with some time and getting more locally relevant backlinks, especially in that town. But that's one of the ways that you can start doing some local searches that'll cost you absolutely nothing. And in a way, it's kind of fun to do. There's also services like Local Falcon. This is the one I use when I keep track of the customers that I'm helping, some of the clients that I help out. And you could try it. It's like it's free, but it only gives you a, just a handful of little dots. Um, they just try to get you on a monthly uh, buying credits to keep track of where you're ranking online. Then this is something maybe that you want to use later on in the future. More useful for me because I'm keeping track of a lot of people. But it'll give you a grid of something like this. It won't get to, you won't get this many dots. Like I said, they give you credits and they give you where you're ranking currently. Um, it's not really all that. I mean, once you get big time and you want to keep track of this on a big scale. Maybe it's worth it, but just using those free tools and, you know, you're, you're, you're taking care of business. You're out there trying to make things happen. You probably don't have time to keep track of this crap. And you can use that free tool. But as long as you follow all of the rules of SEO and all the stuff that you need to do to rank in the Google map listings, like making sure you fill that thing out 100 percent, making sure you got your local citations done, built that really well SEO optimized website. So it connects to that listing and tells Google exactly all the services you provide in the local and what markets you provide those in the reviews that you're getting. Are people starting to understand and know your brand out there in your local market? And of course, a good backlinking profile for your business so that it further tells Google that you're a locally relevant business in your local market there. So there you have it. Some free tools that anybody could use at any time to figure out exactly where you're ranking online, especially when you like just redid your website or just set up your Google business profile, gives you a pretty good idea of where you're ranking. And so let's say there's a neighborhood you want to you want to aim at. If you're a lawn care business and you're trying to aim at this one neighborhood, maybe see where you're ranking in that location and another location and it kind of gives you an idea how far out it reaches. Usually these don't reach out too far. The Google business profiles maybe 10, 10 miles is most from what I've seen, depending on the industry, an asphalt paving company in a rural area, that shit will go out forever compared to a junk removal business owner in a highly condensed area. Like, uh, for example, Tacoma, Washington, it's going to give you all kinds of different listings based on the location where that person's uh, actually doing the search. So it's even more, more competitive and more things that you need to do to get that going. So if you guys need any help with any of this stuff, the website, the SEO stuff, understand this map listing more, just go ahead and click on the description below. You can book a call with me so I can get to know a little bit more about your business and see what it would actually take to get you to the top of those search results. If you guys are looking to set up your own website and things like that, my templates, all my designs, everything's in the description below. 
And if you guys really want to know more about this template design that I use that I've used over and over and over again to get businesses to the top of the search results and the top of Google, you can check out a link right here where I go into it. You guys check that out right here. And that's all I got for you guys today. Until next time.